Hey, what is up guys? I'm here from AndroidRoots.com and today let's go ahead and take a look at Liquid Smooth for the Galaxy S4 and this is going to be supporting almost every single type of Galaxy S4 variant except the Active Core i9 500. Um, so it's going to be supporting your AT&T, um, AT&T, Canadian, Sprint, T-Mobile, USL, Verizon, and the GT i9 505 LTE version 2. Only variants that can support is the uh, i9 500 Active Core. So it's a big thumbs up to developer for supporting almost every type of variant out there for the Galaxy S4. Uh, so we are at lock screen. Um, and first of all, let's go ahead and lock the device and look at the wallpapers. And we're doing the wallpapers first uh, since the wallpapers do take a little bit of time just to load. Um, so we're going to take a look at first so we don't waste any time in this ROM review. Uh, so we are at the uh, wallpapers. And there's some pretty darn nice ones. They're pretty darn clean. And of course, you have a little liquid, you know, liquid smooth low logo on each wallpaper too. Uh, so it's really nice and keeps it very nice and clean, especially those two. Those two look really nice. So let's go and apply this one actually. Um, set as wallpaper so, because that one looks pretty darn nice. All right, we applied that one and let's go ahead and take a look at the last page. And there you are. So that's Sony uh, wallpapers right there, I believe. And let's go ahead and take a look at it. Um, so that one looks pretty darn nice right there, I gotta say. Um, very, very clean. I like the colors right there. Super, super cool right there, especially for the wallpapers, and I'm already impressed with this RAM. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the apps. Uh, so you have two apps. You have app settings to change the DPI settings. I'm not going to go into that. And you have exposed installer. And this ROM is based off a of Nova Launcher right there. Um, so as you can see just by the you know look of it. Um, so you got Nova Launcher, all the transitions and speed and you know effects and all that stuff. So that's a big bonus. Um, let's go ahead and dive into the customization settings and inter interface settings. You have two options. Um, I'm going to try to go through almost everything by Noah. I'm not going to be able to, you know, unless I want to make this video 20 minutes, which I really hope it doesn't make that. Uh, but we'll try to get to almost everything, but I highly doubt that. Uh, so we can go ahead and take a look at hardware keys, and you can actually go ahead and change the functionality of them. Uh, so right now, uh, when you press the back button right here at the bottom, it goes back, of course, obviously. Uh, you can go and change that. So let's say I can change that to camera even. So if I tap on the back button, it actually launches the camera. As you can see, it did take a little bit of time just because it's the camera. Uh, but you can go ahead and change that if you'd like. And you can go and change the hardware keys. <laughs> just an option. I wouldn't recommend uh, changing the home key <laughs> as you may run into problems uh, possibly. Uh, so we'll go and set that back to back. Of course, you have all the other hardware keys right there like I mentioned. Going back out of that, uh, you have Halo head options right there, uh, default app grid, uh, clock widgets. Oh, actually, I forgot to show you that. Um, let me show you one more thing into the app drawer and widgets. And you also get uh, Cyanogemod uh, C clock right there. Uh, we can go ahead and dive into lock screen, uh, allow rotation for 180 degrees. Uh, you can go and change buttons. You can add widgets and all that too. Uh, you can add more targets. So we can add a target or two. So we're going to targets. We can go and add one or two right there. Uh, empty, we can go into application. And then we can go and select browser. Okay. Um, and select save right there. And back out of that. And now when we go ahead and turn on and turn off and turn on, you get a target for browser. Of course, you can go and add more browsers. And you should be able to turn this 180 degrees, which it does work. And widgets should still work. Yes, so widgets still do work. So that's pretty cool. Whoa, <laughs> that is pretty actually pretty cool right there. Um, you can change that, um, that look. Um, so that's pretty cool right there. Let's go and change that back to the correct angle. That looks about right. Let's go and unlock that bad boy. And just that right there we go. And now let's go ahead and back out of that. Um, and I'm trying to go as fast as possible. And I, you probably can see I'm a little bit rushing it a little bit. Uh, but I don't want to make this video too long. Um, you got navigation options. We're not going to go into that. Uh, we can go into performance. So this is going to be uh, messing with your kernel and stuff. Um, and this is really, really cool if you guys play a lot of games. Uh, you can go and change this governor um, to um, performance right here if you do a lot of um, HD games right here. Or if you don't do gaming and you do more like playing music or web browsing that doesn't take too much, um, you know, power and, uh, you know, CPU usage, uh, you can go and do on-demand or... You know, uh, conservative, which should be somewhere here. Um, I guess there's no conservative. I thought there was. Uh, or actually power save. So you can do power save and actually save your battery life. Uh, so you can see the megahertz actually goes lower. And it's going to extend your battery life by a lot. By a lot, guys. Um, so you can go and choose that. You have the options right here. Free memory. And you can see the states of which point it was in and what percentage are right there, too. Uh, so let's go back out of that. Oops. And let's go and open up settings again. And settings right here. And now let's go ahead and look 
into, you got pad control two into interface now. Uh, so you got power menu right here, um, all these options. So you can add screenshot two. So if you don't, if you hold down the power button, you have screenshot now, airplane mode, you can change your profiles too. And of course you can go and remove them if you'd like as well. Back out of that, um, let's go ahead and take a look at Power Widget. This is actually pretty interesting. I like it, me personally. Um, so you can go and enable Power Widgets, and you can add widget buttons right here. Oh, right here. So you can add all these, LTE, mobile data if you'd like, orientation, play and pause, all these, all these up here. And you get to see it right at the top of it. Um, and actually, my battery is dying on this camera, so I'm going to be right back and replace this battery. All right, we are back, and as you can see, you got play and pause, um, LTE. It's right there. You can turn on LTE, uh, flash, torch. All right there, as you can see by the light in my hands. Um, so you have all these options right here. Uh, easily access them, and you don't necessarily have to go into quick settings all the time and tap on it, and then go and choose it right here if you enable them right there too. So it's a lot easier, and I kind of do prefer this as you can see your notifications, and you can go and manage your toggles in one place. Um, it does save you a lot of time if you're like me and manage you know, Wi-Fi data all the time, all day long. It does help. Um, and here you got quick settings, so you can go and add the change the toggles and all that too. So you can go in tiles and layout. And you can go and add more, I believe, or you can go and change the, or you can add more right there. So you can go add, as you can see, you got torch and a couple other options too, LTE. Um, you can go and add that right there for your quick settings, and it'll show up right here, um, right there. And that's about it for the in quick settings, pretty much. And status bar, and you got themes. Um, so that is it, guys. Um, that is Liquid Smooth. Um, of course, I didn't go ahead and go through every little detail in settings and through all the features. And that's where you guys come in. Go ahead and try it out. Experience all the features. Um, as I don't want to ruin all the surprises for you guys, as I know you guys do enjoy these ROMs. Um, and that's it, guys. If you guys are actually interested in downloading and installing this ROM, link down below. And if you guys enjoy this video, be sure to like and subscribe in the bottom left hand corner. Corner. I have RAM reviews for the Galaxy S4 and so many other so many other Android devices every single week here on this channel. App reviews, unboxings, um, anything Android related, I have it on this channel. So be sure to subscribe. And if you guys want to support me and you know just catch up and do all this other cool stuff with me and connect with me, just don't forget to hit me up on Twitter, Facebook, and Google Plus. All links are down below too. Thanks, guys. Peace.